New at six, a defender's investigation into the Catholic Church sex abuse scandal. Today, the bishop for the Charlotte Diocese releasing a video apologizing to anyone who's been a victim of a predator priest. It comes as victims and advocates continue to push the diocese to release a list naming priest accused of sexual abuse. Meanwhile, in a historic first, Pope Francis has called a global meeting of Catholic bishops to address sex abuse within the Catholic Church. Bishops already starting to arrive at the Vatican ahead of tomorrow's summit. NBC Charlotte's Nathan Morbido live at 6. Nathan, what did the bishop say in his message today? Well, let's start with what the bishop did not say. He did not talk about the personnel files inside this building. He did not talk about naming names. The bishop will not be at the Vatican Sex Summit. But he said the diocese is looking forward to the results of this summit and taking action based on the findings. The Diocese of Charlotte, in solidarity with Pope Francis, offers a sincere apology. This video marked only the third time Bishop Peter Jugas has addressed the Catholic Church's abuse crisis publicly since 2004. He urged anyone who was a victim of abuse to contact police, touted the training of more than 50,000 people locally in sexual abuse awareness, and he assured the public the diocese has remained open and transparent since the mid-1990s, posting sex abuse cases in its newspaper. But what he didn't mention is whether Charlotte will release a list of its own accused. Just this week, Belmont Abbey named two former monks who worked in the area, one of them accused in 2006 of sexual abuse in St. Michael's Parish in Gastonia, roughly 30 years prior. The Diocese of Charlotte investigated and deemed it a credible allegation, but never made it public, not even in the newspaper. Independently, we've identified at least 14 clergy members with ties to the Charlotte area who were previously accused. Our effort to combat this sinful crime will continue. The bishop stopped short of making any specific promises moving forward, but pledged this. Please join me in praying for healing for all victims of sexual abuse and also for a productive outcome from the meeting with the Holy Father. And we referenced the case of Donald Scales. It wasn't until this week that the diocese publicly acknowledged the abuse allegation against that man, even though the diocese d decided, investigated, substantiated the claim as credible more than 12 years ago. Reporting live, Nathan Morabito, NBC Charlotte. A lot of will be interesting coming out of that summit. Thank you.